Hey, Todd Berry from ToddBerry.com. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, today I want to talk about a huge mistake that a lot of people in, in building their network make, and, and that is not really um, letting their customers understand what's possible. So I'm going to give you a quick little story to help you get a, a picture of this because everybody does it for the most part, except the most aggressive um, business builders. They, they don't do it because they talk to everybody about their opportunity. But um, when, when it comes to, you know, the, the, the customer side of the equation, which A, makes up 85% of the volume in, in 80 to 85% of the volume in real companies, right? Companies that don't have a lot of customer volume, long-term customer volume, they ain't going to be around anyway. <laughs> and I'm only about the long term. So, um, if you're not in that kind of company, you need to go find one uh, or be prepared to have to go find one. <laughs> so so I, I was um, not long ago, I was in an all day workshop that I was conducting. And then during the break, at some point, I was having a conversation with a very, very sharp woman. I mean, a really sharp woman who's a go getter and is in the process of really building her business. And, you know, so I, I you know, want to hear a story, right? I always ask people, tell me your story. I mean, that's what that's a little clue, by the way. You should be asking every people everywhere you go. So what's your story, you know? Um, anyway, so I, I said, what's your story? How, how did this happen for you? How'd you get here? And and so she she'd been has been working on her business for a couple of years now. And she said, now, for two years prior to getting started, I was using the products. And, and I said, oh, okay. So you used the products for a couple of years and then you started building your business. And she said, yeah. And, and I said, so... You just decided to start building your business? She goes, no, I didn't know there was a business. I'm like, well, what do you mean? She goes, well, after a couple years on the products, I had a friend, someone close to me who needed some help, and, and I encouraged her to use these products. And then my sponsor saw that, that I did that and talked to me about it. And I said, oh, oh, so... Okay, so that, that you kind of happened naturally for you. And, and, I, and she said, yes. And so then I asked her the real question. I said, well, if your sponsor had told you about this when you first started using the products, were you at a place in your life when you might have been interested in working at it? And she said, definitely. I, I, I've been unhappy in my job for a long time. I would have been all over doing it right then. Like, hmm, that's a huge lesson, and that's the lesson I'm sharing with you right now. So why does this happen? Why do we have people who are hesitant to share with their customers what's possible, right? Because it happens all the time. And so I'll give you some reasons. One, that you prejudge them, right? I, you, I, everybody prejudges. I hear it all the time. Oh, they, are, they wouldn't be interested because of this or that. Of course, you don't know. They're just making that up. Right? They think so based on what they know, which is based on what they think. So they're still in their own loop. And so you can't prejudge. You have no idea what someone may or may not do. The second is they're afraid. Maybe they're afraid of crossing the line, saying, well, I'm interested in got talk to, got the products. I don't want them to feel like I'm pressuring them to do the business. And that's again, it's all here and certainly all an approach. It's so easy to do what I'm about to, I'm about to teach you on this, but it's just fear, right? Fear stops you from doing everything. Next is they don't care. So some people actually just don't care. They're not, they're not interested in building anything bigger. So they don't even think about doing it. They don't care to, right? I get that. I get that one. Um, and then the other one is they don't know how, right? They don't know how to do it. They're, they're, they don't, that's part of that fear thing. They don't know how, or they don't think this way, right? They don't think in that, because that's all, that's all part of how it works. So if, in fact, that's how we are, we, we don't do it, right? We don't let a customer know what's possible, what's available for them, which is a disservice to them, right? Because then they can't, you, they can't make choices if they, don't have dis, if they don't have information. Then what happens is, well, nothing might happen, right? Nothing would happen. They don't do anything different. They're just a customer and they go about their, their life. Nothing changes for you. Nothing changes for them. The next thing that happens is what like what happened with this woman I was talking to, they have long they have lost time, right? They have lost time, you have lost time. That's significant opportunity cost. It's double opportunity cost of, of loss um, because the, the conversation was never had. So in this case, it cost that woman two years of being able to build this thing that she was doing, and it also cost the person who had originally got her as a customer two years of income on, from that perspective. So both of them lost as a result. 
And then the third thing is, and this is the one you definitely don't want to have happen, and I hope this is the one that spurs you the most, they'll go somewhere else. If someone had come along and was, you know, someone of credibility and had talked to this woman about a different opportunity, there is a really good chance that she would be building that other opportunity now because she was open to an opportunity. Do you understand what I'm saying? And matter of fact, she then would have found out that what she had was an opportunity would have even further, right, further cemented her new decision because she would have said, well, I've had a good experience with that company, even though that just as a product user. And so they end up building a business somewhere else. I see that all the time, too. Someone has a customer who's then building a business with a different company because they didn't tell them there was an opportunity. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense, right? That's like saying, that's like saying, come on into Starbucks, but you can only have the coffee. You can't have any muffins. You can't have any tea. You can't have any biscuits. You can't have any scones. You can't have anything else, right? It doesn't make any sense. So, so how do you do it? Let me give this to you really simple. One, you just say, hey, you know, I know you love the products. I'd like to, to share with you a little bit more about what's here. No pressure, but I'd just like you to know everything that's available to you. Duh, how hard is that to do? Another one is, hey, I'm expanding my business and I know you love the products. Do you keep your options open about ways to create income? We can sit and chat. I mean, I'd love to share with you what this is all about. Would you like to learn about it? I mean, that's pretty simple. I like the first one the best. Um, I'd just love to let you know what's here. But, you know, I'm expanding and, I'd, you know, you're the kind of person I'd love and you're love to work with. You all love the products. Right? You keep your options open. That's pretty easy, too. So so think about this. Your customers are your best prospects. They already like your product. <laughs> think about that. That's pretty easy. So I hope this message was very helpful for you. Um, if you haven't got my 27 scripts that really work, go to toddberry.com, put your email in, get your free audio download, stick that thing on your MP3 player and listen to it over and over and over and it will help you become a master prospector and master sponsor and uh, it would help your teams too if you share that. So, hey, have a great day. See you next time.